So here's some close-ups of the pick that I used next to one of the keys. You can see the pick is made from an old pick, actually. I think it was a sparrows that I broke early on. So this is the key. This cut, make sure I'm still, yeah. This cut here is the clearance for the um, the nose of the lock. And then this is the bedding here. And so I noticed a couple of things, and I'll talk about that later, but what I basically did was make a skeleton key, removing this material, moving here, cutting a little gap here so I could slide it back and forth. And then I used this old, um, another broken pick, which I have many of, um, this old storm pick, just for the tip as a lifter to lift one of the levers. Okay, so we'll gut one of these and see what's going on inside. Okay, this is C56, which I have not gutted before. And so we get to see what's inside here. Got a screw. These are made by Sergeant and Greenleaf. Um, they were advertised, I believe, um, as um, I think having come from a post office. I'll take a post office application. So we can see the inside of this thing. It's a lever lock. I'll take the little escutcheon off. There's the little guy that actuates it. So as you turn this, this pulls the bolt around. That's the bolt. And here's the lever pack, okay? And there's, um, I think, seven levers total in here, okay? So let's take it apart and see exactly what's going on. Because there's some interesting things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to first note that the first lever here sits down here, moves on its own, okay? So let's take him out. That's a number three. Set it aside. Okay. Now we've got a number zero. Still in frame, good. Now, with him, we'll notice that when I move him, he interacts, or he can interact with this little pin here. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Take him out. Bloody thing. Okay. Set it aside. Put number two, and again it interacts with this pin. This one you may be able to see it a little better. Um, hopefully. Come on now. If I push him up, you can see that he catches on that pin. So let's get him out of here. I'm going to take the next few out rapidly. There's a five. Just to show you that the bedding is non-trivial. There's a two. I think I've seen these up to six or eight. I don't remember exactly how many total sizes they have. Come on. Very tight fit, actually. Put that over there. There's a one. Here is the rearmost lever, which happens to be a two. Some of the other ones, it's a three. And you can see that he has this little extra stump on him. Okay. He does have a gate, okay, but with, I think it even has a, yeah, no, it doesn't have an anti pick notch on it. it. has a gate, but that's the rearmost lever. 
Okay, if we take him off, then you can see the little actuator and the bolt itself. And the bolt, actually nothing in here is steel other than the screws. So it's kind of like that safe deposit box we looked at last week. I got a bunch of these in the mail and uh, first thing I did was take it apart and see what was going on. And um, I was kind of perplexed by this little, this little extra pin that's in here, this little guy there. So let me put two of the levers back on. There's a one, and there's a two. I'll show you some close-ups of the levers in a minute. Okay, so what I noticed was that if I push the bottom lever up, and hold these together, they both move in synchrony. And it's a bit hard to see, but all of the levers in their resting position are basically level at this point above the stump. Their little nose, this part, sits right on the stump. And there's a little anti-pick notch there. I think the now I guess the taller ones don't have any anti-pick notch here, but this little guy will definitely catch for you. So what I noticed was the following exploit. If I have just these levers in place, which line up with this thing, I can lift the rear lever on its own I can get my tool in here, and the entire pack comes up. It's still in frame? Yeah. Not very good lighting, but the entire, there we go, the entire pack lifts up. Oops. If it's properly seated, the entire pack lifts up together as one and reaches the stump, except for the last lever, which does not interact with, this, with the little stump. And that's why I had this additional tool, which has disappeared on me. Um, but there it is. That's why I had this additional tool to reach in here and just push that lever up. And that's the bypass. And this works with every one of these things that I've tried. So. Very interesting lock, has some security features, but seems to be designed so that, you know, easily picked. And if you made a series of keys, I was considering filing one of these down, but I only have a few. If you made a series of keys with different depth cuts on the last position, and removed everything but the first and last cut, and you would need maybe seven or eight of them. You could open any one of these locks with one of those tryout keys. So a very interesting system, clearly designed for a public place where you're not going to sit there with a pick or a lot of tryout locks or tryout keys. But if the owner of the mailbox or the you know, somebody needed to get in quickly, they could. So I thought that was very cool. Thanks for watching. Have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.